What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Mr. 1T back with another video, you guys. And in today's video, we're actually going to go through my collection of Pokemon cards. Um, most of them are from this year, and a lot of them are from the year 2021. Um, being EX cards, reverse cards, rare hollows, uh, Wizards of the Coast cards, black and white era cards, X and Y. Uh, we got some Japanese in here, Platinum era. We got every, almost every single set except for anything after, um, nothing after X and Y. All right, you guys, so first up, we actually have a few, these are these are the only cards right here, there's only a few of them that I would send in to grade um, and cards that I just really, really liked. They're not hollows or anything like that, they're just regular uh, standard cards, commons and uncommons, and maybe some rare non-hollows. But these are just some of my all-time favorite cards that I was able to pull in the last year and few months into this year. So here we have a Munchlax out of the, I believe that is Platinum Era, one of the Platinum sets, or that is Diamond and Pearl. I cannot remember off the top of my head, but I think it might be Platinum. It's the same set. This set has a Jirachi Hollow, but I love Munchlax so much. One of my top favorite Pokemon of all time. So, I mean, I would definitely grade this card in a heartbeat. Uh, next up, we have this Umbreon. This is from Diamond and Pearl, um, Moonlight Pursuit. It's like the, uh, um, it's the one with Darkrai and Cresselia, level X Pokemon. Uh, this is just a rare non-hollow Umbreon. It's just in the snow. It's just really nice. I would also grade this. And look who we have up next. We have like a Switch or some sort of Pokemon card. And we have Bonsai and of course, Munchlax. This is also from that same set. Oh, look, there he is again. We got another Munchlax. Um, different set. This one's from two, 2008, and the other one is from 2009. So they're a little uh, off one year, but that is such a beautiful Munchlax. And then finally, a card that I would consider grading um, would be this Celebi Grass Energy in Japanese. Uh, also, really, really nice. Just as a regular card. I mean, you got a Celebi on an energy card. That is super beautiful. All right, what are we gonna move into next? Um, we'll save the juicy stuff for last, you guys. Let us quickly go over this pile right here. It's kind of big, but give me a second, I'll explain it. This pile right here contains like full art cards, Japanese cards, and like a mix of like different languages and just full arts in general. Um, so, I'm not a huge fan when it comes to full arts and grading those types of cards, but these are all ones that I've pulled. I mean, all these cards are, I, I have pulled at some point on the channel. So I just want to showcase and give some love to the ones that I care about the most. And also I would consider at some point grading these. So first up we have an Umbreon EX. I believe that is Fates Collide. We have a Heatran EX from Plasma Freeze. Such a beautiful card. I didn't even know something like this would be in a set. And I love the plasma symbol in the background. And it's blue. One of my favorite colors. Very nice. We got Heatran EX. We have this Ancient Mew. This is a Japanese. I believe this is Japanese, right? Anyways, this is the version where it says... I don't know if you can see that, but it says Nintendo instead of Nintendo right there see that Nintendo. so it's kind of like an error but not really but this is a really cool card i got that as a gift we have a rayquaza ex very cool we got the japanese from black and white four uh dark cry ex i pulled this on instagram at the beginning of the year out of uh, heart gold soul silver we got one of the prime halves rayquaza and Deoxys Legend. So that's really cool. I believe that's from Undaunted. And then we have also some energies. I don't know if I would grade these, but these are just fun to have in a binder. We got Darkness. We got a Fire. Water from Power Keepers. Another Fighting from Holland Phantoms. Uh, we got a Psychic. We got a Metal Energy. This is from Ruby and Sapphire. So yeah, look at that swirl. I mean, this is awesome. I don't know, maybe I'd consider grading this one, but 
not not these these have a lot of like vertical print lines going through them you got electric obviously you can tell that i have I, I know my fair share around ex packs all right you guys like i have a lot these are all that i have pulled all right next up we got some i also included the reverse cards from like the e-reader set sable eye sorry that was like my brain farted we got a not two very nice sandstorm we got a quapolis tentacool multi-technical machine from expeditions we got a Cedra Reverse Uncommon. This is from EX Dragon. We got some more EX Dragon Marsh Tomp, Bagon. When I used to find EX Dragon booster packs for like super cheap. Geo Dude. All of these are from EX Dragon. The, like these were. If you go to my YouTube channel and search videos and do the click the drop down and do oldest to newest, you will see me pulling all of these EX Dragon reverse cards because i used to only be able to find ex dragon for some reason i don't know we got a shell gone nincada high pressure system another aquapolis reverse super energy removal we got the whalmer team aqua belt we got team magma and aqua ex as well flygon reverse rare from ex dragon and a golem reverse rare from ex dragon so just some really cool cards like every ex set is different and they they have different hollows in each ex set so it's really nice the way pokemon did it um so now we're gonna go into the straight up reverse cards this can be from any set i just like these in particularly so first up we got the Ma uh, mag mortar from call of legends reverse rare Oh, look at that. Second place, we got Umbreon Reverse Rare. I pulled this in a video at the very beginning of the year. From Call of Legends, we have uh, the Umbreon. And then we have Scizor Reverse Rare. I just like the way this card looks so good. Like, on the next card, it's one of my favorites too. Look at this. He, look at this. Like, he looks so scary. with cut and metal claw. So that, that dude, like that card is awesome. So we'll put that to the side. Let's keep it moving. Oh, we got the painter Pokemon Smeargle from Undaunted. We got a Rotom, Fortress, Vaporeon, very, very nice. Followed by the Jolteon from Call of Legends. Look at him chasing that uh, Thunderstone. We got a Nidoqueen. Another Smeargle. We got the Amistar. We just don't really see a lot of Amistar in this era. Uh, we got the Torterra from Diamond and Pearl. Electivire. Furret. I don't really know why this one's in here. Maybe I like the colors about it. I don't know. <laughs> He's a little furry. He got in there somehow. We got a Flygon Reverse Rare. Raichu. Just an uncommon, but it's such a beautiful artwork. Like, I don't know if you can tell, there's like a, like a banner right there and a Pokeball on top of the banner. And it looks like he just did some electric punch or something. So that's a really cool card. I like the brightness in the yellows and the blues in the background of the sky. We got Licky Licky C. I guess this is Cynthia's Licky Licky. Oh, this is a really cool card from Call of Legends. Looks like it's some sort of map of like maybe the legendaries there's like a cliff right there i don't know what it says in the writing and there's like a little pencil someone just hand drew that yeah that's awesome shout out to the artist head 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 headaki hakazaki bro Big ups to you. There's even like a candle right there on like a plate. We got the Blaziken. Wow. Such a beautiful Pokemon. Oh, this is another reverse from not Call of Legends, but one of the Heart Gold Soul Silver. Maybe Triumphant sets. This is Indigo Plateau. And you just have like a Celebi flying right outside like a dojo or some gym. And there's like a mountain in the back. That's such a nice card. We got an Eevee from Undaunted, Feraligator Reverse Rare, Combuskin, and this. I pulled this out of some random 
booster pack from 2009. I, I believe it's either Platinum, Era, or Diamond and Pearl. But it says SH3. So it's pretty shiny. It's a blue Voltorb, obviously. Blue balls, you guys. Come on. Nothing to see. Let's see how am I going to do this. We got, we got some cards here. And we'll just start with the first pile. Let me move the holographic cards. There's so many hollows. Oh, my God. All right. So first up, we have Metatite from EX Crystal Guardians. A lot of Crystal Guardians, a lot of Holland Phantoms, and a lot of Power Keepers, and just a little bit of everything, honestly. But let me know down below which EX Reverse Era stamped cards are your favorite. We got Crystal Guardians, two Skiddy. We have a Whooper from Dragon Frontiers. Look like some of them, the reverse cards. Uh, the Pokemon is the shiny part, and then you have like the reverse stamp, and then like EX Legend Maker, it's the reverse stamp, and then you have the hollow in the background, not the Pokemon. So they, they really mixed it up, and that's why, that's another reason why you can't really weigh EX packs, because you like, dude, do you, unless you have a booster box, you can't really know the exact weights of what the heavies should be like, because every single EX set is different from the other. So next up, we have the Ralts. We have, oh, this is a nice one. Holland Adventurer. I just like this guy's little outfit. It's got the beautiful little purple right there with like the letters drooping down. We have a Leron Reverse Uncommon. Anarith Reverse Common. Carvana. Pidgeotto. That's a nice one. Delta Species Electric. Like what? We got a Crawdilly Reverse Rare. All of these I pulled probably last year. I really haven't opened up a lot of Holland Phantoms or Dragon Frontiers this year. Um, I have opened up a few Legend Maker and Crystal Guardians, but that's about it. We have two Lanterns. Look at the hollow on those. And I think this one has a Swirl right next to the L. That is awesome. We have another Ralts. I like this artwork more. Wearing kind of like, it looks like they're in their pajamas or they're wrapped in a blanket. We have another different artwork, different set of a Skitty. This is from Legend Maker. We have a Glalie. Trap Pinch, digging a hole. But at the same time, he looks like he is kind of, like, it looks like he's digging out of a hole. He's like, he's like coming up to the earth. And like his one leg is hanging in front of this. So kind of looks like he's almost popping out. I used to hate that card, but after looking at it like close up, you start to really appreciate all the artworks. We got a C dot, such a weird acorn Pokemon. Um, another Cacnea, same set. We got the Sharpedo from Power Keepers, another Nose Pass. Yes, you guys, I have opened up over a hundred EX packs in my lifetime. We have EX Deoxys, Rare, Reverse. I think that is like um Maybe speed speed Deoxys or attack Deoxys. We have a Rayquaza from an unreleased video that I I didn't upload for you guys. I pulled this Rayquaza from EX Delta Species. We have the Saviper Reverse Rare, and we have Ampharos Reverse Rare from Unseen Forces. One of my favorite EX sets to have reverse cards because check this out. You see that? There are upside down Pokeballs. And it's awesome because the Unseen Forces is also stamped, like it's hollowed. The card is, the Pokemon is not holographic, but the background is, and then they just added like extra Pokeball action. That's awesome, that's so cool. But yeah, I really like this card, and it's like yellow, got some bright colors to it. Very nice. But we have so many more EX cards to go through, you guys. We're not even like halfway done. Maybe we'll speed it up a bit. All right. All right, here we go. We got, oh, this is another one, EX Emerald. I don't really like the Pokeballs too much in this pattern, but I think some of the EX Emerald ones look much better than Torchic. We have a Spinarak from Team Rocket Returns, Staryu. This is a, oh, this is English Slugma. 
We have a Gloom. I like Gloom. I like Oddish Gloom and Vile Plume. Also another really cool uh, evolution line. We got Murkrow, Armaldo, Crawdilly. Just very basic background. We have a Volbeat, Nidoran, male. And then we got the female in the background. And the female is also uh, hollowed out. That's awesome. Dragon Frontiers. We have the Poliwag, Lilip, Cedra from Dragon Frontiers. We have a Lunatone, Sharpedo. Oh, here, this one. Makuhita from EX Emerald. No, I don't know. I like the Unseen Forces more. They look more like they're floating in the card, in the hollow. So we have Amistar, Anorith, Electrike, Holland Phantoms, Holland Phantoms, Crystal Guardians, Reverse Rare, Grumpig, Executor, Reverse, Uncommon, Execute, okay, it de-evolved from Holland Phantoms and this Curlia from Dragon Frontiers. You can barely see it. I actually have to think I have to take it out of here. This is an old sleeve too. This is Burning Shadows. Nothing else in the card is actually hollow. All right, let's keep it moving because we still have Wizards of the Coast hollows Japanese EX cards. Like, oh my God. <laughs> all right, but these are all my cards. I really wanted to just showcase them. So I really hope you guys are enjoying this. We'll put this in the front. We'll do a little speed of this. So we have some more EX reverse era stamped cards. We got the Mudkip, Sentret, Huntail, Electrode, Holland's Electrode. They even added like a little name to it from Delta Species. Looks like someone like smacked him with a baseball bat. Very cool. I love the art on that. We got Torkoal, Phoebus, the Fish. We got the Ledian. Ooh, Ghastly. This is a pretty cool Ghastly action. I think this is like the only Ghastly in the EX era actually. So that's pretty cool. We got the Crobat, uh, Reverse Rare. I actually pulled the Rare Hollow Crobat right behind this one. It was a clip on my Instagram. You can go check it out. Uh, it's the one with the uh, uh, Delta Species pack on the front. We got a Volbeat Reverse Pupitar. Okay, we have a German Unseen Forces Flash Choking. We got a Gulpin Giant Stump with a swirl right at the bottom of the stump. So that's pretty cool. Oops, I just destroyed that. I recently pulled this. I opened this by myself off camera. I just wanted to open it for fun. I got it from my friend on Instagram. He did a box break. And then we have some Deoxys reverse cards. These are all really cool because they got like that almost like diamond looking pearl. You know, that's pretty cool. We got the Deoxys and then the blue and the red on the X. That's so sick. Got a Wingle. <laughs> Swablu, haven't had much good luck on the reverses for Deoxys, but we have pulled a couple of gold stars, so I can't really complain. Got a Combuskin and a Larvitar. That's a pretty cool Larvitar. All right, you guys, that is going to be it for the uh, reverse slots. All right, you guys, we have from Team Magma and Team Aqua, Kabutops EX. We have an Agron EX, Muck EX. Ampharos EX. These are all Japanese, by the way. This is a Crawdilly um, from Legend Maker or Mirage Mirage Forest. Uh, we got a Blaziken, Dialga. I got this out of someone's like binder. Same with this one and this one and this one. So I got all of these from someone's binder, actually, I purchased. So we got a Dialga. This is like a um, little half deck. This is from an actual set, though. We got a Typhlosion. Very, very nice. Got a Magnazone and a Jirachi. I don't know what set this is from, honestly. Some promotional because it says 10th. So it's a promotional Jirachi and it looks freaking beautiful. All right, let's keep moving. We have a Celebi, Tangrowth, Agron. These are all just Japanese cards. Aerodactyl, Sharpedo, Deoxys, Tangrowth again. We have a Poke Park. Suicune. I'm definitely going to put this in my... Uh, I want to get this card graded. It's not minty. I got it from that same collection. We have the uh, Scizor, Rockets Scizor from the VS series. We have a uh, Rockets Wobbuffet. I don't know her name. Karen Steelix, maybe? No, not Karen. Karen is the dark one. The... No, wait. 
That might be Karen. I don't know. But we have uh, Steelix, Tyranitar, Rocket's Tyranitar, Rocket Suicune, and then we have Cynthia's um, Level X Rayquaza. So very, very cool, unique variety of cards. All in Japanese. It's holographic cards. So Charizard King on Instagram pulled this out of his Neo Revelation break for me. Magna, uh, Magneton. Got a beautiful swirl right there. We have a Wigglytuff, the first pack I opened in the year 2022. It has some print lines, but it's okay. It's still a Wigglytuff. We have an Ampharos from Neo Revelation as well. He pulled this. Uh, Polyrath from Base Set 2. I recently pulled this on my Instagram. We have a Golem from Legendary Collection Reverse Rare. Wow. We have a Ninetales. Got that from the same pack as the Golem. Rockets Scyther. Kyogre Shiny from Call of Legends. Flygon, my first EX pulled of the new year. We have a Lantern Prime, Suicune Promo. Very nice. I'm definitely going to get this one graded. We have an Entei, also promo, and a Raikou promo as well with an epic swirl behind it. So I actually might get the, these, all of that, that whole set graded. We have a uh, Espeon EX from German Unseen Forces, you guys. I pulled this on the channel like six or eight months ago. It was crazy. And yeah, I mean, I have it. <laughs> and we pulled this actually last night on Instagram Live, which was nuts. Um, I opened up an EX, uh, EX Fire Red Leaf Green Booster Pack that I had received from one of these two-player trainer kits. And they have blessed me with a Moltres Secret Rare. Very, very nice. And we have an Infernape Level X promo card as well. So that is that pile. We have a Lugia. It's a promo. We have a Jirachi. Gardevoir, Espeon. I'm going to go a little bit faster, you guys, so you can pause the video if you want to stare at the artworks. We have a Kabutops with a Swirl, Electivire, Skuntank. We have Agron. And by the way, if you guys haven't noticed already, every time I get a card out of a pack or something, it immediately gets sleeved up. I don't like leaving stuff laying around, especially if I paid for it. So this is a really cool Shaman card from one of the Heart Gold Soul Silver Arrows. I don't remember which one, but there's an Eevee in the back. So that's pretty cool. We have the Latias promo. Another really cool promo to have. You don't really see that one much. Uh, actually, I might get that one graded too. <laughs> we get Magmortar. We have a Whale Lord, Persian, Mankey, Wigglytuff, Victory Bell, Clefairy. Here's that Crobat I was talking about, the Rare Hollow from Delta Species. We have a Star Raptor, another Magmortar, Dialga. Another Magmortar. We have a Vileplume. Very, very nice card. I like the purple and the gold. We have a Kabutops, Milotic, Latias, Deoxys, Delta Species, Electric Type, Crawdilly, another Skuntank. This one is a Hollow Bleed, so that's pretty cool. We have an Altaria. Very, very nice card. Like, too nice. Celebi in English this time. And lastly, we have the Suicune from one of those sets. I can't remember. Um, and I'll show you the cards that I'm for sure grading in the near future. So here we have a Dialga with an insane hollow bleed on it. You can see right there. Togekiss, Lickitung, Executor, Marowak, Zatu, Cracked Ice. I got this out of one of those like one pack, one pop series pack. Pseudowoodoo, Smeargle. There's that Jirachi. I got two of them. That's insane, bro. Unknown. Glalie. Poliwag. Slacking. Metatite. Unknown. Delcaddy. Salamance. Muck with a Swirl. Another Delcaddy. Flygon Pop Series 4. Chinchow. Ditto with a Swirl. Ball Toy with all the energies around. That's awesome, dude. We got a Banette. I like this card also from Crystal Guardians. I like that dark blue in the background. And there's a swirl on top of the lightning. I just noticed that. That's awesome. That one might actually have to get graded. We have the Latios to go with our Latios. Agron. Marowak from Team Rocket Returns. Wigglytuff falling off a branch. Bulbasaur wanting to get some fruit. Heracross. No idea what he's doing. Bulbasaur. I also pulled this last night on the live. And the Deoxys. I believe that's like defense form. So those are all the cards I have or that I could find. Let me know what you guys think about them and if I should get them graded or which ones I should grade out of these. 
Uh, we have a Raikou promo from Lost Thunder Sun and Moon pre-release kit. We have a non-holographic, unlimited Japanese Sky Ridge or Split Earth Umbreon Rare. Very nice. We have a Fortress. I got this as a gift from a very, very special friend. From the same set, we also have the Jolteon, but this is actually in first edition. You can tell right below there. Of those, it would be... It would be this one. I want to grade the Mew, but I'm not I'm not 100% sure. I don't know. We we might we might grade this. We might also be grading this Expedition Rapidash. I really want to grade this Umbreon Prime card. Uh, I also pulled this off camera. I know, I'm sorry, but we have the Lugia SL from Call of Legends. That is epic. I've pulled two Kyogres and a Lugia out of maybe under 50 Call of Legend packs. And just from like different blisters, boosters, whatever. Um, I want to grade this as well, this Reverse Rare Mew from Expedition. And I'm considering grading this Blaine's Charizard that we pulled here on the channel. Um, I don't know if it would get a 10, maybe a 9. But I mean, I haven't, I don't really own any Charizard, so it would be cool. But yeah, you guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. Do you like my collection? Is it is it looking a little rusty? But yeah, let me know what you guys thought down below, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Next video, hopefully, we'll open up some uh, Brilliant Stars, finally. Uh, I ordered like four or five pre-release kits, so we'll be opening up those in the next few videos. But until then, you guys, have a fantastic rest of the day. Enjoy your week, be nice, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace!